morning. Uh, eight mites without you. Sorry, I was in a conversation with Caitlin. So, eight mites. It's, um, had a good morning, did a good session at the gym. Uh, came back here, eight mites, had a big catch up with Caitlin about some stuff. Some very exciting stuff next year. And then, yeah, we're going to start filming. We've got three videos to short today to shoot, to shoot, to short. Three videos to shoot today. We're going to do, Caitlin's going to make rumbles. I don't drink rum, so she's on her own. Could be interesting, could be a good watch. And then we've got to do a, we're going to do a video for a brand deal, so, um, and another one, I'm going to do like a, um, like a PSA around getting ready for Chrissy. So, um, nothing too crazy today. It was a, a few other things kind of happening. Uh, everyone's trying to get ready for next week. Next week's a huge week. So we got some stuff to shoot Monday. Me and Caitlin Vlada Sydney Tuesday. Um, the rest of the, the, uh, the team comes Wednesday. Uh, we've got the awards Wednesday night. Fly back Thursday move studios and then unpack and everything on Friday, Thursday and Friday. So, um, yeah, kind of a bit about that strange time of year. Lots going on. Nice move just to spice it up a bit. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get cracking. I'll get um, Caitlin's video done first. So um, I'll turn the camera on for that and um, see how she goes. So what are you doing in the kitchen, Caitlin? I'm cooking, can't you tell? Got all my, I'm all organized, all my stuff laid out. I don't know who's more nervous, me or the guy who has to film it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be out of a job soon. Yeah, so yeah. You should be the nervous one. Wait till you try these. That's the one thing I can cook, but can you call it cooking? Because I don't put them in the oven. <laughs> can you please go blow up this video? Because then I don't have to do any more work. <laughs> no one wants to see me cook. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so put them back in there. But here, I'll mix this, then I'll move this out of the way, put the tray here. Yep. All right, camping story time. So, when we moved from Melbourne to the sunny coast, I hadn't done much, hadn't done much camping, but we started camping like we couldn't leave the sunny coast, we couldn't leave Queensland. And we really enjoyed it. We got all the gear and we did most of Southeast Queensland and had some really fun trips. Um, this was before we were making content. Um, and then we started making content and I made a couple of videos pretty early on. That's the dishwasher, don't worry about that. Uh, I made a couple of videos early on around camping, cook, camp cooking, and they kind of did pretty well, but they're kind of pretty niche, I guess, to obviously as a camping community. Um, and they take a lot longer to make. Um, anyway, we decided to go and make a long format video, which we hadn't done before on camp cooking. We, uh, and I always kind of say prior preparation prevents piss poor performance. There was no prior preparation. <laughs> so it all started, we, it was like a pretty hot, it was like in the middle of summer. It's naturally pretty hot here in summer. So we pack all the cars and film and we drive to, um, I can't remember the name of the spot, but basically during the peak of summer, there's a lot of fire bands. So you can't, you know, you can't just light a fire and cook over open fire anywhere that, because understandably there's fire bans because of the damage that the fires can do especially in the peak summer here so we found a campsite which we never camp on we normally just camp in national parks and on beaches and stuff but we deliberately found a campsite that we knew we could have a fire and to make the video off we go pack our bags jump in the cars drive an hour and a half i think it's kind of inland from the sunny coast um oh, it was on a river and we get there and it's screaming hot it's like 40 degrees hot like stupid hot start unpacking start getting ready and i pull out i've got these like camping boxes that i store everything in they fit really nicely in the car i pull out this the only was running it's like two i pulled out two camping boxes 
and I had four in total, and I packed two, and then I left two that was stuff I wasn't going to need on this trip. I forgot, I, I swapped by accident the most important one, I forgot all the cooking gear. This is, this is great. So we had to send Daz and Caitlin back in one of the cars to here, to the studio, to pick it up. And in the meantime, we were like, oh, me and Mitch can set up all the swags and we had a big warning and stuff, we can go, kind of get ready. So the girls jump in the car and, and they were going to be like three hours. Um, me and Mitch get everything sent up, but by the time they get back, we are just exhausted because we're trying to set up, you know, camp in like 40 degrees, there's like no wind at all. Uh, so we were cooked, I was pretty tired, pretty grumpy. But we had, the, we had everything we needed, so we start making the video. Um, and we kind of noticed that it's like pretty late in the afternoon at this point. We noticed that like the couple of campsites around us, and we're we're camping right on the river, right, and we're in this big go in, in a valley right on the river, and a couple of people around us are kind of um, packing up. It's a strange time to pack up camp. I thought that's weird. When packing up, it's weird. I think nothing of it. Go through, make cook the video. I did like a fish cooked over right by the river. It's very scenic. It's on the main channel. It's still there. Go go check it out. Um, um, we'll put it here or something as well and um, we finish up and we just start doing the you know, you know the videos finished we start cleaning up and, and eating um, just finish the dishes and we're all kind of sitting down like oh that was a pretty stressful day we got through it and then in the distance you hear dun -dun -dun, <laughs> the thunder coming in and it was like oh, oh here we go oh right, it doesn't matter everything's done you know the swags are set up we've got an awning we're fine and then it's like the wind picks up and then it just starts bucketing down and then the wind gets stronger and it just rips the tent poles out of the ground and the whole awning is just like, and this awning's pretty massive. It was like half the size of this room, just like collapsed. It's flapping in the wind. <laughs> so, and it's like absolutely bucketing it down, like just fully, fully hosing down with rain. So you get the girls, like, sent the girls to the tent. So Caitlin's in the swag, Daz is in her tent. Me and Mitch try and like pack down the awning as much as we can kind of batten down the hatches and then it was like well we'll just have to wait this out i'm completely drenched at this point i'm thinking well i'll just wait for this rain to stop um and then i'll go have a shower and, and then get into bed it's like an hour later and it's just not stopping raining and the water's rising pretty quickly like you can see like other campsites just completely flooded and i'm like oh this is not great anyway I'm like, it's like 10 o'clock, 10.30 at this point, and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna go have a shower, try and warm up a bit, and then I'm just gonna dry myself off, get in the swag and, and go to sleep. And I go up, I climb up this hill to get to these like public showers, jump in the shower and I get out. And I, I just remember thinking, this is not gonna stop anytime soon. It was just horrific. And I came back down the hill and I could see the campground. It was like, you know, a foot underwater, the whole lot. And I'm like, nah, we've just got to get out of here. So I go back to the camp, I'm like, Mitch, we've got to pack up, we've got to go. So me and Mitch just like pack everything up. We literally just like throwing stuff in the car. We weren't thinking about it. We weren't like, just like shoving shit in the car. It was horrific. Jump in the cars at like 11 o'clock and we drive back to the sunny coast and get home, you know, have a shower, dry off, go to bed. Wake up the next morning and the car is just horrendous. There's just wet stuff everywhere. There's like, you know, the gear is just like an absolute mess. And I kind of vowed at that point that like, I'll never camp again. I was like, I'm never camping again. I'm done with this. Um, Cause I, I, I quite enjoy camping, but I hate like the clean up and the, like packing the car. And then like the worst part is when you get back, um, especially we do a lot of beach camping up here. So you get back from the beach camp and the car's covered in sand all your gears covered in sand and you have to wash that stuff right you've been driving on the beach you've got to wash your car thoroughly or your car just gets destroyed so <clears throat> i kind of vowed i'd never camp again and we kind of joke about it still that we'll never camp again but i think recently in the last couple of weeks i've i've kind of toying with the idea again and then someone commented that on on the video the other day said oh, i miss that camping content so I kind of pitched it to the guys the other day. I said, oh, let's go do another camping video. And I think we'll probably, we'll wait. It's, it's better to camp here in winter. So I think we'll wait till winter time and um, we might try another camping trip and we'll see how we go. But um, if I never make that video, you know, I'm just too, too chicken to do it. But let me know below if I should, you know, have another crack at a camping cook video. 
Anyway, legends, that's what day is it? Thursday. Thursday done. I'm not actually in the studio tomorrow. I'm doing some stuff in the new studio, um, but I'll still go to the gym and stuff. Sorry, and, um, I didn't understand that. I wasn't asking you, Siri. Uh, I'll do some yeah stuff around the house, and I'll, I'll jump on here and and let you know what's going on. But uh, enjoy your dinner, eat something tasty, and we'll see you soon. Peace.